Hi, well on this week's video we're going to be taking a look at the Amstrad CPC tape deck. Um, this one, what I'm going to show you now is, I don't know whether you're going to pick it up or not, I'll try and increase the sound if you can't hear it, um, but I've put my microphone, I've set my microphone up on the side of the Amstrad just to let you hear the sound of the loading sound. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to repair it and I believe that it's the Idler Gear Pulley Rubber uh, O-Ring, one of these. And this is from DataServe. Um, I'm not being sponsored in any way by DataServe. Um, but I've used a lot of DataServe stuff for like the tape decks, um, Spectrum tape decks, Commodore tape decks. They do all sorts of things. So they are on the internet. So if you if you go on eBay and search for DataServe, you'll find them on there. Or if you have a look at the bottom there, I'll try and scope that in for you. You can see the address. And I'll put the address um, so you can get these belts down in the description too. Right, so what I want to do is, I'm just going to pan you down to the tape deck and we'll have a listen to what it's actually doing. So this is Galactic Tomb by Bitmap Brothers. Um, this is a brand new tape that I can't get to load. It doesn't even display the, the found at the beginning of it. And if you have a listen to how it's loading, um, I think you'll be able to see why. Um, so I'm just going to set the tape off now and let you have a quick listen to that sound. Um, and you can see that it's um, it's not one pitch, you know, you should be getting a and you're not, you're getting that kind of sound. I'm not going to do that again because I feel really, really stupid. <laughs> so I've set it up on the screen now. Um, I've pressed, got it set up, so all I need to do is press any key and press the play. So I've pressed the key and I'm just going to press the play now and we'll have a listen to what that sound sounds like. So see if I can do that again for you. Yeah. So you can hear it, can't you? You can hear it going woo 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 and wobbling on the sound. So like I said, I believe that it's the idler pulley. Um, it could be the main drive here because um, underneath that wheel there's a little fibre plate um, and there's a spring underneath there as well so we're going to have a look at that at the same time. So just for the moment now I'm just going to pull this in pieces and we'll take a look at that. Right so we've got the Amstrad stripped down, this is the tape deck um, and this is the pulley that I'm looking at changing that on and, and this is this other drive pulley here that I believe there's a clutch underneath there. So I'm going to pull that little fibre washer off and slide that up and let's take a look at that. Be very very careful now not to lose these washers because if they come off they're gone and you won't ever find them again because they're so tiny so as you can see that's that little clip so I'll just set that to one side there so we don't lose that and that should just slide up and off yeah so you can see that, that slips can you see that Let's see if I can show you better can you see how that slips look? So there is a fibre washer underneath underneath there as you can just see under there. So I'm hoping, can you see that look? See how we're pushing it? I don't know if you can see that on camera very well but I'm trying to, you can see how it's moving can't you? So I think this little spring here if we change it or we just give it a good stretch, give it some more tension. I know it sounds a little bit barbaric that way, but it might just push up on that wheel a little bit better um, when we come to putting it back together. It should have a bit more tension under there. So we'll set that spring to one side for the minute. This little bleeder under here is quite difficult to get to. So I'm hoping that I should be able to adjust bend that little bracket up no i don't think i will <laughs> um to get to that if i turn it over you have to strip down all this board off the top of here so let's just take that off there and let's have a look so can we get underneath there no 
So the idler arm is actually here. So what we would need to do is strip this down here, take this pulley off, take this big wheel pulley off here, um, take this bracket out to get to that. And you can put some extra tension on that spring as well, which I've already done that tension on that spring. So I'm hoping um, that I'm just gonna be able to turn it over and I'm hoping that I might just be able to get it out from here and lift it up underneath that there as you can see that idler comes around there a little bit further over doesn't it so I'm hoping that I can just get under that rubber there and get it out but no right <laughs> we're going to strip down a little bit further to get to that idler so first of all, we need to take this side screw out here. This is loaded with springs, so we've got to be careful when we take this off and remember where it all goes. There you go, look, if we just sit that down there, that comes over there somewhere and slides off. No, it did before. <laughs> we'll try and get away with that one. We'll just take this little screw out at the top here. I'm going to be very careful with these little screws at the top of top of these ones. They the um they go in but they don't seem to go tight. They are tight all the way down, but <clears throat> so that's that little screw out there. So this little bracket here now should come off with that. Because it's got the spring on it. Let's just flop that over there. So we can take the main drive belt off now. We'll just set that up there. And that pulley should just lift straight out. There's another spring that's fell off under there, look. So we'll keep all that to one side. There's a little fibre washer that sits on top of there as well. So we've got to be careful of that. Um, this should just lift off. If I remember rightly, it does and it hooks underneath there. And then we can get straight to this idler here. So we'll go for that screw first. That's an that idler screw. It has got a little shoulder on it, so you can't over tighten that to, to jam it or anything. We'll just try and unhook that off there, which has come off really easy. And we'll take that little leave it there. This is a little pulley that's giving us all the grief um, so I'm going to be careful not to lose that spring for it to fall off um, and all I'm going to do is just pull that out of that hole. It does feel a little bit greasy to be honest. That's that rubber that's off there. So I'll get the other one out of the packet Let's take a look at them two together. Let's put them side by side and just let you have a look. So you can see it's, it's stretched. It's bigger in it. I would have said. These things are, are like an O-ring, but they're not an O-ring. They're the square. You can see it's a square. So it's a square type ring. It's not an O-ring. What I found is when you put your normal O-rings inside there, um, it tended to um, not sit right. Um, it tended to um, lump up. I don't know whether I had the wrong O-rings in there or not, but I, I've got a, a box of O-rings for when I used to be an airfield engineer. Oh, look at that, it's just gone straight in, no messing. So that's his um, ring on there. That one looks pretty good to be fair, but I don't like that, it's a, bit, a little bit too big. That's as time a tensioner done on that one. So what I need to do now is see if we can do something about the tension on that pulley. So yeah, so I'm just going to do that now. I'll put this back together off camera. It's a little bit fiddly with the camera in front of my face. Right, okay. So this is the little drive pulley that comes on here. Um, what I've managed to do is, is pull it apart. Um, and you can see one side has a grip side there on that pulley. You can just see that rings. Um, and that's the other side of it that doesn't have anything on it at all. 
um, and that looks like a little fibre washer. So I'm going to give all this a good clean up with IPA um, and then we'll put all that back together. So that's the little clutch that goes in there and that's the spring in between that part. So I'm going to clean that up with IPA now and put it back together and we'll see what it does. So just sort of stop there a little bit. You can see on that seal, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, you can't quite see it, but it has, you see them rings that you can see on there, um, but it has them rings on one side and I think that might have been contributing to it. So I'm going to flip that fibre washer over, so hopefully it might have a bit of a better grip. So I'm just going to continue putting that back together now. Right, so I've got that ball back together. Um, it's all built back up again. Look, I'm going to put a little bit of grease on the bottom of there, um, around where that pulley runs and on the gear. Um, and that's all we really need to do. So I'm going to put all this back together now. Um, and then when I've put it all back together, I'm going to come back to you and we'll have a listen to it and see if it's made any improvements. Um, but I'm hoping that, that this will have cured any issues that I've been having. If it doesn't, um, then I probably think that that tape that uh, we've been trying to load is bad. Uh, and we'll try and load some other tapes and see how they go. Right, so I've got it all built back up again. Um, the tapes in, we've um, sorted out the pulley clutch. Um, we've done the idler pulley. Um, I'm just going to see if this makes any difference to the sound of the loading now. So I'm just going to press play now. I have got it set up on the screen, I'll show you. And we're ready to go. And we'll see if we can hear that sound any different. And hopefully, we should actually get this brand new Galaxy Tomb tape from Bitmap Soft to load um, and if it doesn't um, what I'm going to do is try some other tapes um, that we've got over here and we'll see if we can get them to load and see what they sound like if if that's the case and the other ones load and then I've got to say um, it's got to be a poor tape or a bad tape from bitmap soft is the reason why this tape will not load um, but we'll try it Are you ready here we go No, we're still not bringing anything up on screen. Still not doing anything at all, look. We've got nothing, it doesn't even show up. And you can hear that recording all over the place. So, we're gonna stop this bitmap soft tape. Because that just does not load. And let's try some of these others. Now these are what I've just picked up. Um, I picked them up off Facebook. Uh, somebody was selling them. They're new old stock tapes. Um, so let's see what this new old stock tape of Raid sounds like when we're loading. So I'm just going to fast forward it until it loads and then I'll start it again. Right, so here we are now. We're set up um, and we're going to see what this sounds like now. So let's see if we can hear any difference on the load sound on this tape and we'll see if it comes up on the screen too. Um, I'll pan you up for that so you can have a look. Well that found block one and we're loading away now. I don't know if you can hear that sound, but it does sound a lot better. So yeah, it's, it still sounds a little bit wobbly, um, but it's definitely loading stuff now. And as you can see, that bitmap soft galactic tomb just didn't want to entertain it at all. You can hear it wobbly, can't you? So this is Raid, basically it's like Raid over Moscow, I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. Um, 
As I said, it was a new old stock tape, so this tape has never, ever been loaded before. Um, all I've done is taken it out of its wrapper and put it straight there. In fact, the little holes at the back of here, <laughs> the cutouts, were still in the tape deck. Tape deck? Inside the tape box when I took it out. So that shows you how, how new it actually was. Uh, and it looks like we're loading quite well. It reminds me of the Spectrum when it's doing that, when it's the way it's uh, building the screen up. So it's looking good guys, it's looking good. You still hear it, can't you? Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's just see if this runs through, uh, and I'm going to try another couple of tapes. I've got Dundare 2 and a Mission Amiga by Bug Bite, and Dundare was by Mastertronic, the Rico edition. Um, I just want to see if them load as well, because they wouldn't before. Well, the Dundare wouldn't before anyway. It was struggling to load. It were all down to, I'm just pretty sure it all down to that idle wheel pulley rubber that we've changed um, it could have helped obviously cleaning that clutch up uh, on the drive wheel and stretching the springs a little bit to give it some more tension more grip but that is looking mighty fine to be fair it's looking really really good so what I'll do is I'll skip through to the end if it loads it loads if it doesn't we shall try the other tapes so that looks like that's loaded up um, and it's worked really well that's fantastic let's just rewind that tape now let's try some other tapes I'm not gonna load them all I just want to make sure well I'm gonna say I'm gonna load down there um, because that struggled to load before um, it's quite a biggish tape on that one So this down there actually has Spectrum on that side and the Amstrad version on the other side. So we're going to try that now. So we'll, we'll press Shift and Enter for the load command, press play on tape and hit the space bar or any key and let's see what this sounds like. That sounds a lot better, it didn't even go past the first part. So are we going to get to the loading picture? Didn't get that before, if it did, it'd give me a load of garbly gook on the screen. It wasn't very clean, it wasn't very clear. So I'll skip it through until we get to the loading screen because I don't want to drag you on while we're loading tapes. Still seems to be a little bit bouncy on the audio but it certainly is a lot better. Failed, failed, failed to load. Might just be the tape. So Dundee didn't load. Um, so what we're going to try this time is we'll have a go at Ghostbusters. I can't remember if I've tried this before and whether it's loading or not, um, but we're going to try it again now. Um, it does seem to have improved it a bit, but you can still hear the wobble um, on there. So let's try Ghostbusters. That sounds better. While we're trying to load Ghostbusters um, in the background, I'm just going to have a bit of a chit chat to you. Um, so I'll load that up now um, on the screen so you can have a listen to what I've got to say while Ghostbusters attempts to load. So that's the Amstrad CPC um, idle wheel pulley that we changed on there. Um, we also did the 
um, and the main drive with the clutch underneath it, we cleaned all that up with IPA, swapped it around a bit, stretched some springs to give it more tension. It has made it a hell of a lot better. Um, things are actually now loading, they wouldn't do before. I spoke on the Amstrad group and a few of you have had similar kind of problems where you're getting this wavy sound as you're going along. Um, you can hear it where it's like, Ooh, you're not getting a really nice clear pitch, constant pitch, it's up and down, it's fluctuating. So if, if you guys have got anything out there that you can drop me a comment um, to help me try and iron out this pitch changing like that all the time. I have changed the belt, I've looped all the mechanism inside there. Um, we've changed the idler pulley belt. Um, we've, <laughs> we've cleaned the, the pinch roller. Um, we've cleaned everything up inside there. Um, and it still seems to be making this little bit wavy up and down. It could quite easily just be tight tips. And another little tip for you guys out there, I don't know whether you know this, um, but I got told about it a while ago, and it actually does work. Um, if you take a tight tape that you know it's slipping and struggling, um, you can take that tape and put it on top of a radiator and just let it warm up, let it get warm. Um, I think that makes the tape, the whole tape expand and then they tend to load a lot, a lot easier. And so, but like I said, if you've got any tips for me um, or any ideas for me to look at next, just to try and iron that out, um, I would really appreciate your comments below. If you're enjoying these videos, um, we are on Patreon now. I'm sorry I've not done any videos for a while, um, but all the new stuff and the new content and the behind the scenes stuff are on Patreon, and the patrons do get that first, um, before we move it on into the public for you guys to watch straight off YouTube. So if you're interested in supporting the channel, please pop along to Patreon. Um, it all helps and we much appreciate it. I have just set it up at the moment, um, so if you do go over there and notice that there isn't any Patreons, that's the reason why, um, because it's brand new. Um, we're also on Facebook, um, we're on Twitter, and we're also on Instagram. If you check the description down the bottom, you'll find the links to all the groups and everything that we're in, um, so you can come along and join us. Um, you're more than welcome to join us, and it will be absolutely fantastic. And again, please hit that subscribe button, it does help me massively. Please hit the little bell and please drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on it. So that's absolutely awesome. Ghostbusters is loaded first time. That really did take me some time to be able to get that load. It would never load before. So obviously it has made a massive difference. Well wow, that just did actually make a massive difference didn't it, to that tape deck. Um, I was struggling to load, it, it was probably 1 out of 10 tapes that would load um, and now we are getting probably um, 2 out of 10 that's failing. So it has made a massive difference to what it is what we've done on this one. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, the next one won't be too long, um, it should be out for next Saturday, um, as I said previously in the video, um, we have delayed it a little bit so the Patreons get to see things first, um, so if you would like to join and support the channel, please pop along to Patreon, um, as I said before, it's all down in the bottom for you, um, all the links to everything, and if you want one of those idle pulleys, um, o-rings, if you pop on eBay, You'll find data serve on eBay, and I'll pop a link to their website as well um, down at the bottom in the links, so you can get to that and, and have a go at changing them yourselves. So I hope you've learned a little bit, um, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.